My name is Gary Rogers, and I've always lived a, a pretty good life. Um, I grew up in a Christian home and, and went attended church regularly. And uh, in high school, I, I accepted Christ uh, as my personal Lord and Savior through an FCA sports camp. A couple of years later, we were my best friend. I did the same thing just to make sure. And I've even uh, rededicated my life a couple of times to Christ. You know, growing up in this area that we call the Bible Belt, um, it was easy for me to hide behind the Christian label and, and act like a Christian on Sundays and do, do my thing during the rest of the week. When I got to a major university, I uh, quickly, my so-called relationship with Christ, uh, faded away and became very distant. I was uh, more consumed with myself and pursuing the things of this world and what would better uh, me as a person. And you can fast forward now to December 9th, 2001, where my life was really beginning to become more empty. And I was dating a girl, I had a girlfriend at the time in Atlanta. And I literally witnessed her accept Christ in an authentic way on December 9th, 2001. And it was a day that changed my life forever. Because I saw that real change in her literally overnight that only God can do, I immediately hit my knees and um, both praise and repentance, and I, for the first time, accepted Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And this girlfriend and I became uh, passionate about Christ, and we became growing together in Christ. Our relationship budded. We were married in October of 2003, and we became passionate about helping, in a small way, bring a church up here that existed for, not just for church people, but for people like us. And uh, fast forward a little bit, we have a couple of beautiful boys. That church we prayed for is here and, and we're active through volunteering and through a small group. And I can honestly say that Christ is alive in my life. Uh, knowing that God is with me each and every day and through my struggles and through this imperfect world, there's so much peace associated with that. And I would like to thank uh, the folks at Rock Point. There's too many to name. I'd like to thank my small group for showing me what community really is all about. And we've been together for 18 months. It's been a beautiful thing. I'd like to thank my family. I'd like to thank my extended family from California to Florida. And I'd like to thank my wife, Lauren, for showing me what an authentic relationship with Christ really looks like. And with tremendous joy that I today publicly profess that Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior. not only special to be able to just to baptize someone who becomes a follower of Christ, which is always incredible, um, but to be able to baptize someone who's a close friend, and that's for me what Gary Rogers has become, and, and to be honest, I don't believe I would be here in Chattanooga if it were not for this man right here, and uh, he's a big reason why even this church is where it is, because he prayed diligently, and he really felt like, hey, we need a church that where people would like myself would want to come, and so... Gary, just to, be, just to be able to baptize you and Lauren today is a real honor for me, and I know it's a special day for you, and so I'm, I'm thrilled to death. And so with that being said, you know, hold my arm, you're a lot taller than me, so we gotta, we're going to work this, all right? And um, so, Gary, it is my privilege today, because of the profession of your faith that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh. <laughs>